Hi there, it's Jessica. Welcome to my channel and today's plan with me in my Erin Condren Life Planner. So I just decided to put on this cover that I purchased from Erin Condren last year. It's the Watercolor Hearts. That'd be great since we are planning into the first week of February. So we'll open up. Look how chunky my planner is, guys. I really want to uncoil all these spreads here because it's so chunky it doesn't even lay flat anymore but I'm really nervous to do the whole uncoiling thing but I'm gonna do it eventually so I'm gonna remove my little pre-planning notes this is actually just a little notepad I got from the Target dollar spot it's really nice because it has the days of the week there little conversation hearts and I'll remove my little planner clip so this week is January the 30th through February the 5th we are going to be celebrating my husband Shane's birthday this weekend his birthday is actually February the 7th but that's a Tuesday no fun he has to work late so we're going to kind of go out and pretend it's his birthday over this weekend so I wanted him to pick a kit for my kit collection for me to use this week and he was like eh, and he didn't want to do the birthday themed kit that I had instead he picked out two kits that are very very similar and he said do these ones so what I have here is a sweet Bella XOXO kit and a plan with Anna kit and as you can see they're very similar and I asked him well why do you want this one and he said, because of the color schemes, it's the only thing that's kind of boyish. And he says he loves this full box. And he says this crazy lady over here really reminds him of me. <laughs> of course, he's teasing me, but maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> so let me show you what each kit comes with here. We have Sweet Bella XOXO's full boxes. Then we have some glitter heart checklist and two sidebar stickers with Monday to Sunday. We have the headers and eight half boxes, littles, really cute tassel weekend banner, and a bunch of fun functional decorative icons. On this page, we have date covers, bottom washi, some habit trackers, and some bill do stickers. And then it came with a really cute deco sheet. So then we have Plan with Anna's kit, which is also very similar. So here's her full boxes. And then it comes with a multifunctional sheet here, some labels and half boxes, some mini labels, teardrops, some headers, some three heart ombre boxes, and some kiss cut icons. Oopsies. And then we also have the washi strips, which you get, I guess, three choices to work with here. And then she also has a deco sheet. Now it's funny because I usually only pick up glossy kits, but these both happen to be in matte. So I am going to combine the two. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I wanted to zoom you in just a little bit closer. And we're going to start with our decorative fold boxes and I'm going to kind of pick and choose from both of these sheets here. Let's see, I think I'll put them down in the bottom row and, oh, this is gonna be really hard to choose from. Um, to be honest, I personally really love this girl here, so I think I might put her up at the top. And then we're just gonna kind of pick and choose and distribute the colors. I definitely want to put my husband's two favorite boxes, which was this one here and the crazy lady, AKA me. So let's maybe center his favorite box on Thursday. I have not used matte stickers in such a long time. It already feels a little bit weird. Do you have a preference on sticker paper? So yeah, I, I have been using glossy for so long that now my fingers feel a little awkward. Like my brain and my fingers don't want to place these down the same as maybe they would be used to glossy. But it's no big deal, guys. This is really cute. So I love this teddy bear. I want to put it down. Matte stickers are just a little bit more, I guess, flexible. Let's do, we need, yeah, we want like a little bit of a darker color over here. Let's 
And now let's work on the other side. Um, I want to pull in this color. Very interesting. Oh my goodness, come on, girl. It's like my first day planning all over again. It's really been that long. Actually, I think it has. I think it's been like, I don't know, maybe seven, eight months since I've done a plan with me with matte stickers. So don't make fun of me. I love this Starbucks and donuts. I just actually had too much coffee. Do you ever do that if you're a coffee drinker? Um, I didn't mean to have too much. I just bought this new creamer um, that was just so tasty that I had to have another cup, another large cup of it, and now I have the jitters in a bad way. Kind of makes me feel a little bit anxious. So I'm looking forward to that wearing off. That could be another reason why I can't place down my stickers. Too much coffee in the system. This is so cute. Little robe and mask. And yeah, I'll be honest. Most of the time, I'm a, I mean, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm not all glam like this girl. I probably look like this girl most of the time. <laughs> so let's put her down. I don't want to cover up the J script, so I'm going to just bring it down to the second dot. And there we go. Now I want to put my checklist all through the top row. I think there's only full boxes in one of the kits. And they're glitter, so let's do these ones all along the top row. So anyways, um, speaking of stickers, I just did a haul video this week. And so last night I was putting away my stickers and goodies and trying to organize them. And um, I'm realizing I'm, I'm growing a really large collection of just about everything. And um, I need to put myself on a spending freeze and instead maybe go invest in some good organizational tools and um, carts and cabinets and stuff and kind of go through the kits that I already have. I also need to do a de-stash pretty badly. And so what I think I'll do is I'll probably do that soon, eventually. And when I do, I'll do a big giveaway and... Uh, give away some of the kits that um, I have because I have more than I could use and I, then I, you know, just, shops just keep coming out with great stuff and I cannot help it. It is literally a planner addiction, guys. It's my hobby, but I'm usually really good this last, last week. I went way over my budget and so now I have to kind of pay for it by putting myself on like a slow spend at least. No spends don't work well for me, so I've got to allow something. So I call it a slow spend versus a no spend. <laughs> because if I tell myself no spend, I'll see something and then all of a sudden it causes a chain reaction and then I just go spend crazy. Um, so anyways, do you guys have any tips for no spends if you do them and are good at them? I need some help. <laughs> there needs to be like a planner anonymous group or something like that. Um, I'm going to work on the sidebar next. So let's see. I think, what do I want to use? I think I might use both of these in the sidebar. And then so I'm going to need some headers. Let me grab out everything. All right, so I'm going to use these extra headers here and then maybe some of these daily habit trackers as well. So first thing I think I want to do is pick a this week. It's kind of my favorite um, title to use. And let's do it. I think I'll do the, this black, pal uh, black pattern. <laughs> I cannot speak. Black pattern for the this week. Let's see if I get this down straight. Alrighty. Come on now. And then I think I'll use this one. And let's make it 
bending even though I just said I'm not going to do much spending and that's why it's not going to be like a checklist it's going to be a daily thing and that way I could literally only write out like one thing a day and I don't even want to do that guys I really don't I want this to be as empty as possible but I like to track my spending so I'm going to be realistic with myself and I'm going to place a spot down <sighs> But let's please, let's not go crazy. Maybe I will try to just make it to Friday. Or, you know, $2 Tuesday is really awesome, too. See, I'm already mentally preparing myself to break my no spend. <laughs> or slow spend. Okay, so next, I need some habit trackers. Or at least one. We'll see if we can fit both. I'm not sure, though. I'm going to just label it important, and we have two. I definitely will take the glitter, since I love glitter. And we'll put that down, and this will be my Instagram. I'm trying really hard to post as often as possible on my Instagram account. So seeing this is kind of a way to inspire me. Because I don't like it when I can't circle every day. Um, I don't think I could fit another habit tracker. I wonder if this little box would fit or not. If it does, I could use it for maybe social media stats for the week, which would be really cool. I think I can if I just bring it all the way to the bottom. So let's see if we could do that. Alrighty. I think it's a little bit crooked, but it'll have to do. So I want to work on the bottom washi next, and we have so many choices it's very hard. Um, I think maybe I'll try to combine both kits in some way. So I'm definitely going to use this one here from Sweet Bella XOXO, and then I want to grab out something from uh, Plan With Anna's kit. And if it was up to me, my favorite is definitely going to be the little hearts here. That's cute. So, I think what I'm going to probably have to do, which I'll probably do off camera, is uh, go grab out my X-Acto knife and try to cut this one down so that we could kind of stack these two in top. And in fact, is this one whole strip? It is. So I'm also going to have to cut that down too. Alright, so let me do some measuring and I will get those washi strips down. And I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, I got my washi strips down. I'm sorry I didn't end up doing it on camera, but it just took me a little bit of time to cut everything down to the right sizes and match the two different kits together. So anyways, I am going to come in now with these date covers. And let's see, we have February here. I want to make sure that that gets covered up. So actually, I think I'm going to have to bring these up a little bit. Might have been smarter to put down the headers first. Let me get down the Wednesday one to get an idea of where I kind of need to line these up. Let's see, let's see. Just got to give it a little bit of breathing room there. All right. Let's see if I could get all these down decently, cover up the numbers and stuff, and get them straight. So anyways, <laughs> um, if you use Facebook, I'm sure you're aware that Facebook sometimes does those little like memory things. They'll like put a picture out and remind you of some picture you've posted maybe like two years ago, five years ago, whatever it may be. Well, I had one of those um, this morning when I was on and it was from two years ago and it was from when I was working out every, not every single day, about a good five times a week. Two years ago, yeah, I was really was really doing well as far as like eating and working out and then so it was a shocker because I honestly hadn't seen that picture and um, 
oh my gosh, I had muscles in my arms. I had a tank top on. I was like, are you kidding me? That was me. So now it, it kind of made me feel a little bit sad <laughs> that I had let myself go the last two years. Um, but also motivated in a way too, you know, like now, now I'm like, man, I could do that again. I can. It's always really hard to kind of start, but it kind of becomes a routine and part of your normal lifestyle. At least that's how I felt. Like I didn't, I hate working out. I really, really honestly do. Um, I started working out in 2014 as my New Year's resolution because I desperately need to lose weight. I'll tell you a little secret. It's a little bit embarrassing, but if you go onto my Instagram and you scroll down far enough, you can see a picture of me that I posted as like my before. It was the heaviest I ever had been. And then I did post right after that an after photo just to show that I had actually completed my New Year's resolution and losing all the weight that year in 2014. And, um, I've put on some pounds since then because once I hit my goal, I said, okay, I could slow down on the working out a little bit and um, I can, I could also give myself some more cheat days because, you know, my family was not eating like I was. I was very, very clean in my eating. But, oh, yeah, it's not quite the same. <laughs> so I don't know. Thanks, Facebook, for putting me in a weird mood. Or maybe that's the fire that I need to get me motivated. You know? I need to lose that weight that I added back on. I never throw away my clothes because I do a little fluctuating. It gets harder the older you are, I think. Um, I was so easy to say skinny when I was in high school. Holy moly. I, it didn't matter what I ate or did. I was super darn thin. And then, yeah, now that I'm way far away from my high school days, uh, it just takes a lot more effort. Have to be a lot more aware of what you're doing. So, oh, yeah. How about you guys? How you been with your New Year's resolutions now that we're going into February? I feel like I have been kind of failing myself. But the year isn't over yet. You could always start, right? <laughs> so now that I have all of that down, I really need to get down some, some headers. Actually, they really match, to be honest. So much so that I could kind of leave them if I wanted to, but I would feel it'd be incomplete. So I am going to pull out some glitter headers, and I'm going to do it by the same shop, Sweet Bello XOXO. And I'm going to use a few shades off of here. I think I will go ahead and pull in maybe the silver. I think the silver is actually a little bit different shade, so maybe I'll put it down at the bottom. I also want to do kind of this tanny color right here. And I'll put that through the middle, because I think that's the most drastic color. And then we'll also do this black, maybe up at the top. And I do want to use the little so that I could put my meal per day down for meal planning. I was actually really proud of myself this past week because I got out an extra video on YouTube. And, um... I don't know. It's very hard to try to fit everything I need to do in life <laughs> into, uh, and, and YouTube as much videos as I would love to do. But I know that a lot of you guys have been requesting the meal planning video, and I really was pleasantly surprised with the comments for those of you who watched it. You guys gave me such really sweet comments that you enjoyed the video. I mean, I'm glad I didn't let y'all down, those of you who had been waiting for it. So, yes, thank you for all your sweet, sweet comments. Okay, so this is the plan. As you can see, I'm going to put black, and then the tan, and then the silver, and then a meal on top. And I'm going to do that all the way across.
Alright, so I actually realized I had another sticker that I wanted to put down. These are Valentine's Day Countdowns by the shop Rose Color Days, and they are in the gold foil here. So, this is February 1st here on Wednesday. I want to start counting down. We have 14 days till Valentine's, and I guess what I'm going to do is I kind of left a little bit of a space. Um, I guess I will fit it down there, and that might be the best spot. So I'm going to put them down. These are so pretty. I used the uh, same shop's countdowns to Christmas. I'm excited to start doing Valentine's uh, spreads. I guess I will start next week. We'll see how many I do. I could do the whole month of February. I don't know. I love holidays. I love planning for holidays. And then I think my favorite season to plan for, uh, plan for <laughs> sorry, it's that coffee got me all tongue twisted today. Um, my favorite season I think is spring. Only because most, I love like most all the kits that come out for spring. The color schemes are like my favorite colors. Lots of pinks and mint greens and all that fun stuff. Plus, it's a really good time of year. I get really excited that it starts to warm up and the sunshine comes back out. So maybe it's just that I have all those endorphins going on and it feels good in spring. So yes, I'm really looking forward to the future in my planner. Next, I'm going to take this weekend banner and I think I've decided both would look great, honestly. But this one kind of has the glitter in the weekend and the different colors and the tassels. And I'm actually going to go ahead and stick it over my checklist for the weekend because uh, we're going to celebrate my husband's birthday. I do a heck of a lot less to-dos in the weekend, so I don't mind covering up a couple of those hearts. And I guess we're ready to pre-plan out the rest of the week. So starting on Monday here, Monday I have a doctor's appointment that I need to drive to a different city about 30, 30 minutes away. So I'm taking these little cute doctor appointment labels by Planner Kate at the bottom because it's in the afternoon. I'll just write in the time in that little label there, really cute. And also, I always do my laundry on Monday. Monday should be my big house cleaning day, but if I can't get all the rooms done, that's fine. La laundry is the most important. So I'm taking this sticker, this is really cute, by the Sweet Bella XOXO kit. Put down laundry. I want to try to kind of pull in from both kits here. So I'm going to put down a half box for Tuesday. And I want to mark that I want to start my filming for, is that crooked? Filming for YouTube. Try to get out a midweek video. If I got all the rest of my cleaning done. So let's see, we have do we have something that I could use for filming off these icons? Or there's also another sheet. I found the other sheet by Plan with Anna, but I don't see a icon. Oh, there we go. All right, we have a little laptop here. That'll work perfect for marking filming. And then I could put the title of what I film in there. And I'm going to just leave it at that. Um, it'll probably be cleaning and filming. If anything else pops up, I have that white space, because that's all I know. So I'm going to move on to Wednesday now. So Wednesday is usually my day to take some time for myself or to run errands, whatever it may be. So I'm going to take the Me Time sticker, because I think it's super cute. And what else? All right, if I'm going to run some errands, I probably will. I like to stop by my P.O. box. So let's take some stickers from Plan with Anna. These little short labels are kind of cute. I think I'll take this one with the little stripes. And then we have her Happy Meal sticker here. And I think, do I want the, I think I want the icon on this side or this side? Let's have it on this side actually. So we'll do this little short label and I could just put P.O. Box in there. 
and we'll layer this on top. There we go. And then we're moving on to Thursday. Thursday is trash night, and I did notice we have a little trash night sticker here, but I don't want to take up that much room. So instead, I'm just going to take my pen gems here. Now, this has a little stylus at the end if you're like, that doesn't look right. <laughs> but it is by pen gems. I haven't changed the ink out on this one yet. And um, to be honest, guys, the reason why is because I cannot open this pin. I don't know why, but that's okay. It still matches the spread, and these are matte stickers. So luckily, a ballpoint pin, just the way it came, will work fine. In my little to-do list, I want to write that it's trash night up here. I think trash will be fine, or I'll put trash out. Take it out. Don't forget and the other thing that I need to remember is that my son always has um, a big spelling test on Fridays and we always practice but on Thursday I want to give him a really good test um, at home so I think I'll take a plan with Anna label I guess it really doesn't matter which one I choose here and what can I use for marking that um what do we have? What do we have? Any icon? You know what? Oh, I know what I want to do. I'm going to do this little small piece of deco of the teddy bear. I don't know why. That just reminds me of my little kiddo. That's cute. I'm going to put the teddy bear in to mark uh, prepping the test for homework. And then I want to remind myself to do better on Instagram. So I'm gonna take these stickers, they're actually by my newest addiction, and I think they're really cute. I think I'll take the one with like, both of the kind of, what is it, gold? It's either gold or rose gold and black. Little arrow sticker. <gasps> Come on, there we go. And I wanna remind myself to do my midweek spread post here on to Instagram to kind of update what my planner looks like when it's all kind of filled out. Uh, we have a little Instagram symbol here, so that's perfect. And what I kind of like to do is put a check mark next to my icon. So once I do it, I could check next to it which also over here in my sidebar, this is going to be Instagram. I'm just going to abbreviate it, IG. So I actually have two places that I need to mark that off on for midweek spread. Okay, that's really all I'm going to put down, guys. My plans are not super exciting. I think you might know that about me by now, <laughs> being a stay-at-home mom. So next we're going to do Friday. And on Friday, it's TGIF, so I want to put down a half box. Let's do the ones with, like, the heart design. I'm going to put that in there, but I want to leave myself some space because there's one other thing I want to mark in there. And then I have these by Let's Plan It. And let's take this one. Perfect. It's in gray and black, and it says Fry Yay! And I just want to put that in, and we could, I could mark, we can, I can. <laughs> Nobody else feels like writing in my planner for me. Um, I could write down what we do for our Friday. And usually my husband comes home early. Also, though, I want to mark that there's new releases on Etsy. And if I'm going to break my slow spending, it will be Tuesday for $2 Tuesdays and Friday for new releases. So I'm going to grab out a label. I think I'll take this one here with the cute scallops on it. And then I did see an Etsy symbol from Plan With Anna as well. Yes, right here on this sheet, we have an E for Etsy. I could do the shopping bag, too. Either one. We'll do this one. And I could put new releases in there. Awesome. Now on to Saturday, which is my husband's birthday, pretty much. We're going to treat it like it is. 
So I want to take my Happy Birthday stickers by Aria's Daydream. We have one in the gray color here, which is perfect, and some gold glitter balloons. I want to put that up top because I'm hoping that I could fit down the marquee that I saw. There was a marquee in the plan with Anna kit, and I want to use that to write whatever activity we decide to do, which we don't have plans set yet. There we go. I feel like I'm a mess. These stickers are all over the place. I never combined kits. Um, but I'm going to hold on to all these leftovers because I might want to match up my personal spread for the week. I'll have plenty of leftovers to do that with. Can I do this? We're going to try. I'm going to squeeze this all the way down. I think marquees are a little bit more decorative than just a regular half box. So sometimes I just like to use it even if we're not going to the movies. And again, we might. My husband really loves going to the movies. I'm just going to have to do a little bit of sticker overlapping and deal with it because that's, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Happy birthday! Yay! All right. So moving on now because I don't think I have anything else to write except for we'll just be, yeah, celebrating. And on Sunday, my next Erin Condren plan with me should go up live. So I'm going to mark down that I'm going to do my social media. So I want to take a half box. I'm going to take the stripey one here. And I'm going to do some like sticker layering. Let's take this up as far as possible so that I could have some white space for anything else I might need to mark on Sunday. Sundays tend to be a lazy day or a continuation of our weekend where we're doing things together. I want to put down this sticker by Scroll Prints Co. This is one of her $2 Tuesday sheets. And I believe this girl's name is Jennifer. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. But <laughs> they all have names. And I picked this girl because her hair color and skin color matched mine the best. Even though I don't wear glasses, I do put my hair up a lot. Except for usually on the weekends. I might try to put it down. So, no, why'd I grab that one? They each have different planners in their hands with different covers, which I thought is so cute, so cute. So, which one should I grab that would match this spread the best? I kind of like the one that is, like, brown stripes. And she's sitting on a pile of stickers. And that is exactly how I feel right now. Perfect. This is so cute. Um, and then I'm going to take this three heart little checklist and put it next to her. Yeah. And that, that way I can mark the three things I like to remember to do on my Sunday. One is answer YouTube comments when my Plan With Me goes live. The other is post to my Facebook. And last but not least is Instagram. Just trying to get that down the street. How exciting. I got all of my pre-plans done. Okay, so I'm going to take my pen and I'll write in the few places I can as of now. Alright, so here is my finished pre-plan spread for the week of January the 30th through February the 5th. Really hope you enjoyed planning with me. If so, give this video a big thumbs up. It'll make my day. Also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because I would love to see you again soon. I'm going to also pop up a few videos in the corners. If you haven't seen them and would like to, feel free to click and enjoy. Until next time, I want to wish you a beautiful day. Happy planning and bye-bye, friends.